Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play in the Lost Kingdom of the Banana Blood Gods. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I missed the obvious thing. Much to the surprise of nobody, I'm sure. Uh, so, I think it was this one? Yeah. So, yeah, I apparently I just completely disregarded this room entirely. And it turns out it was the thing that I shouldn't have disregarded. Because there's that last key. So I'll just go ahead and get myself back up here. Since I have quick access to this spot. Well, that's not ominous at all, isn't it? Well, this is certainly an interesting thing that I'm seeing here. It certainly is an interesting thing, and I... Okay. So, at the moment, I'm wondering if I could just aim anywhere up at this thing. Okay, no. Ah, so I can destroy those things. That is good information. And I could go out and get potions. I might end up doing that, but until I get... Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, if you're just going to use the same attacks over and over again. Oh! Ah! But the things apparently respawned and I'm not even sure what hit me there. Alright. So, methinks I should probably focus more on attacking the center mass now that I'm now that I'm more informed on things. I think it's clear I'm not even... <laughs> what the heck am I even doing? It's like I'm not even trying anymore. Uh, this feels like a bad idea, but maybe... Let's see if the additional damage... See if the extra damage actually matters. Not, uh, not, not in that case. Uh. So, where does this spit me out again? All the way back up here, right. So. Get it, going back and getting a potion would definitely be a bit of a thing, but I might end up having to do that. Why am I switching to the arrows? I've gotten used to using the kunai so much.
you know what? I think it is worth the time and the effort to go get more potions. I'll be right back. Alright, so... Now that I have potions, I'm just gonna be resetting after every after every loss now, which doesn't isn't really a surprise, because that's how I typically do these sorts of things. I wasn't even paying it. I didn't even see what hit me there. Since I hadn't used a potion. On to the death montage, I guess. does that much.
Okay then, alright. What? What's going on? How did they get here? That's impossible! Apparently not. They must have broken the fourth wall. I think you guys did that first. But that shouldn't be possible! These are the creators? I don't understand. I thought we were supposed to be fighting gods. In a way. Don't let our appearances fool you. We are the sole creators of this world. Well, plus Sapheth, I suppose, and we probably should count Evan too since we ripped off IOR so much. <laughs> Wait, there are more creators? Enough! I don't care who you are or how many other creators exist. You took Zaya from me, and I want her back. That's impossible, unfortunately. What do you mean impossible? You're gods! It's beyond our power. And it's your fault, actually. There is a concept in the pseudo-literary world known as the ham feels equilibrium. equilibrium. To put it simply, whenever something insanely over-the-top or hammy occurs, it must be balanced by an equally strong sad event. When the two of you defeated Kuma Kuma, you gave perhaps the most ridiculously over-the-top speech I've had the displeasure of hearing. I blame Moosh for this. <laughs> I hadn't slept in almost two weeks! I couldn't help it! I'm a bad writer anyways, you know this. Regardless, the heminess of your speech sent shockwaves through the universe, threatening to tear it apart. This necessitated the creation of an alternate reality, a reality in which the battle against Kumakuma ended, inst ended instead in a tragedy. My reality. Precisely. Your universe exists solely so that Zaya could sacrifice herself to save you. All the changes present in your world, such as your feelings of love for her, work towards the goal of creating an ending with enough feels to counterbalance the train wreck of an ending those two created. Finn, I know this must be hard to accept, but Zaya didn't die just for you. She sacrificed herself for the sake of the universe. You need to come to terms with that and move on with your life. No. I refuse to accept that. You want your equilibrium? Fine. I'll give you something so hammy you'll have to give her back to me in a tearful reunion. I'm going to kill a god. And we're responsible for this, so we're not backing down now. Creators will strike you down here and now to bring back the other Zaya. So be it. If there is no other option, we'll crush you. Okay. Oh, okay. Stupid thing is, I'm probably gonna have to do that wall fight again. If I fail this, which sucks. So I guess that just means, don't fail. Okay, so that doesn't work. Oh, jeez. find out if I have to go through the wall fight again. I'm just gonna... Okay. I don't have to go through the whole wall fight again. But now I have no potion. I should, uh... Uh...
Okay. Alright. I can't retry now. And with Zaya, I go down in like two hits. So. Just double checking that the light arrows just tink off you. So I'm kind of abusing the fact that the uh, electricity orbs don't. It, they kind of go away after the uh, once they hit the bottom of the sc the bottom of the room. Can I go through these portals by chance? No. That was worth taking a death to find out. know that when you stop it's time for me to when you stop when you stop and do nothing for an extended period that's when I should start moving myself I'm so glad I figured out the diagonal shot. Okay. Hmm. They're tough. Tougher than I thought. Then it's time for that. It's time. Behold, the pinnacle of scripting might, the indestructible fortress of Spurg. The Mooshmek Mark I. The heck. What the? Moosh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to sprite the Mooshmeck. You... You had months to work on this Moosh. Months. Does he at least have any attacks? Oh yeah, he's got a Mega Laser. I even combined it with a portal attack. Watch. Um... Is this a third parallel universe? Cause I think that I think I know where the laser's about to go. Kuma Kuma, you've lost. Humans aren't your puppets. We live, we laugh, we love. You couldn't understand this, and now that will be your undoing. What the 
<laughs> yeah, I called it, didn't I? Though it wasn't really hard to, hard to guess. Um, power of love? Indirectly, perhaps, yes. But a shameful end for I, the blood god, Kuma Kuma. Yay! Tearful reunion! Well, great. Now you've created a paradox on top of everything else. I don't understand what happened. Was that laser you? Actually, that might have been me, by accident. Oosh, but I just saw you and Akuma die. I don't mean to interrupt this tearful reunion or anything, but I should point out you just ripped the massive hole in the continuity. We need to get to fixing that, like, right now. Or else the universe could implode on itself. I'm still blaming Moosh for this. That seems fair. All of you, we'll let you leave and keep Zaya with you if you just promise to stay out of this realm from now on. Wait, you're just letting us leave? We have bigger issues to handle now. I mean, we could come up with another few boss fights, but this has been a big enough train wreck as is. Plus, Moosh still needs to finish Canada. But that takes effort. Anyways, Zaya, Finn again, Finn, other Zaya, I think it's time for you to go. Okay then. Right. I see. It's bizarre. I remember seeing the laser and then reappearing in front of you, but at the same time I remember walking out of the temple and surprising Finn and Father. It must be because of the paradox we accidentally created. I think we screwed up a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, uh, a, a, a little bit. But who cares? Let the creators sort out their mess. We got Zaya back and that's all that matters. Are you sure you don't want to stay any longer? It's kind of fun talking to a different me. No, we really should be getting back before we accidentally break anything else. I'd hate to think I doomed the universe because I wanted to live a little longer with an alternate version of myself. That's a sentence I never thought I'd hear. But how are you even going to get back? With reality as broken as it is right now, I think we should be able to punch our way back through. Yeah, that's not going to do any damage. What's one more plot hole in the end, right? And so, having absolutely shattered reality itself, Zaya and Finn left for their own world, bidding adieu to their par parallel selves. Their actions would send ripples through their world, forming a world of inexplicable strangeness. The parallel adventures of the two duos were only just beginning, but that's a story for another time. Congratulations on beating the challenging post-game mode! As a reward of oh, Quest Password, time to censor! Holy cow, I was not expecting a dang post game. <laughs> uh, thing is, the password's kind of funny. It's a shame that I'd have to censor it. But if you want the, as always, if you want the password, you'll have to play the game yourself. Uh, wow. Just the fact, I wasn't expecting a post game to begin with. And while this was, it was definitely hard. I will give it that, but that's what post-game content is supposed to be. Doesn't help that I kind of make things hard for myself more often than not. Uh, so, I guess the reality is a thing. Kind of, sort of. Anyway, uh, and one, one day a new evil will make itself known, and when that day comes, I will be here. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.